Hi folks, welcome to The Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. There's some breaking news this afternoon. Two things, two separate things. And I'm going to, I, I don't have any tin foil or aluminum foil with me. I wish I did so that I could put my tin foil hat on because as I tell you the factual part of the news, I'm going to give you some of my own conspiracy theory, my own theory. Um, just a couple of days ago, yesterday maybe, I don't remember. I've been really just running like all 10 cylinders the last couple of days, so I don't remember. But at some point in the past, I said that if Trump gets convicted, don't be surprised somewhere in that, either the conviction, the arrest, the imprisonment, something like that, if there's a possible event, big event, that distracts people and causes, you know, something like that. So anyways, the jury came to the, out today and they did convict Trump. Um, said that he's guilty. Trump is now a convicted felon. No word yet on any kind of imprisonment, pri you know, consequence, nothing. Not, not, I don't have that information. Maybe by the time you watch it, I don't know. But usually it takes a few, few days or a few weeks or whatever. But as of right now, Trump is a convicted felon. Within minutes, like half hour, 45 minutes, I, I don't know exactly, but it was a short time of that being said in the news. Uh, it was announced that Joe Biden has given Ukraine full permission to use weapons, long range missile systems that we have given them that were given to them to use only defensively. Remember that. You guys remember when we, when we were given all these missile systems to him over the last couple of years that it was only to be used defensively. He has given them permission now to use them offensively and to attack inside of Russia with these missile systems. Up until now, Ukraine has just been sending a few drones here and there that they get, whether they come from us or somewhere else, or they order them on Amazon or something like that. Uh, but we, it, it just seems like a strange coincidence uh, because it was just it was a week or so ago that I reported to you that Anthony Blinken was was trying to convince the Biden administration to do that, uh, to to give Ukraine permission. So so Trump's been uh, convicted as a felon. And then moments after Joe Biden announces that uh, he's allowing Ukraine to use missile systems offensively striking inside Russian borders. Um, I mean, I don't know. I could be just barking up the wrong tree with this one, but I, I want to think that the way what's been going on with Russia and NATO and Ukraine is the tensions have been rising over there. And, you know, they've been, in fact, just, just yesterday or the day before Russia said that NATO is already, is already offensively involved, directly involved against Russia. Um, I think it was today or yesterday that France announced officially, because this has been rumors for a couple weeks, they announced officially that they are sending troops into Ukraine. And France has been pushing for NATO to preemptively strike uh, Russia. And then now Joe Biden is saying, yeah, yep, use the stuff that we send you. Now, I, th this isn't about being pro-Russian, pro-Ukraine, pro-NATO, pro-United States, none of that kind of stuff. Just just think about it. You know, if, if someone, you know, gives this guy a, a gun, okay? Let's, let's say there's, there's a bad guy, someone that doesn't like you. And someone else gives that guy a gun and says, yeah, go take this gun and go shoot that person. In my mind, I would think that you're going to think of both of them are to blame. The one for doing the act and the other for giving them the, the tool and telling them to go do it. So I can't see how Russia wouldn't see this as a, as a direct attack from the United States. And it could easily escalate things. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm, again, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm wrong on this one. But I said just a couple of days ago, let me repeat. I said, go back and watch my videos. Um, I said that I, I would bet that something's going to happen right around one of the, you know, either the arrest, the conviction, the imprisonment, something like that to distract. And it would probably have to be something big. Well, if Ukraine starts striking in Russia 
And Russia says, that's it. We're done. Our gloves are off. We're going to go in tactical nuke. We're going to attract, attack a NATO target, uh, you know, directly attack an American target, something. Um, Poland has been really wanting to do something. Uh, Finland, uh, I believe it was, was making threats that they are going to take back some of their old territory that's Russian territory. All, all the, There's been a lot of stuff going on. And it just makes me wonder. I guess time will tell whether my theory is correct or not. Um, but, you know, if, you were, if I were you, I'd, I'd at least kind of kind of set up, pay a little bit of attention and get ready. You know, just the whole Trump felon conviction, possible imprisonment or, I mean, that's what they want. They want to imprison him. It's very clear to me they want to see him in an orange jumpsuit behind bars. It's possible they may just go with house, house arrest or a fine or something like that. But, you know, if they, if they have manipulated and lied and cheated the, the banana republic system that exists right now to get this far for a felony conviction, then I'd say they're going to go all the way and they're going to try to put him in jail. I mean, the Secret Service was just meeting with NYPD just a few days ago trying to figure out the details of how to imprison a former president that's running for office. So that should tell you something. I think things are about to get a little hairy, maybe. Um, of all the tensions right now between the pro-Palestinian, pro-Hamas, uh, Muslim protests, the, we've got we've got the the gay month coming up here in a day or two, where they're going to be just sick parades. You, they're already started in in London. There's been video coming out of London. And it's been disgusting, right in front of children. Things I'm not even going to say on here. You can use well, don't use your imagination, but you know what I mean. And there's protests from that all the time. And then all of the, of course, you know, illegals born into the, the country makes you wonder. And then, of course, China, China, you know, uh, had been talking about how China was had doing their 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 war gaming and, and maneuvers and training around Taiwan. They're still doing it. They, they haven't stopped. They haven't slowed down. You know, a lot of times they'll do this for a couple of days and then they take everything home. They're not. They're still doing it every day. They've been sending ships and planes around Taiwan. And they're telling the United States, you absolutely stop going there, stop talking to them, and stop sending stuff, or you're going to face our wrath. I mean, I've paraphrased it, but that's pretty close to what they said. So are we seeing things start to kind of come together into something that's getting ready to happen? Don't know. Um, I would be getting myself ready if I were you just in case making sure things are topped off you know it's it's garden time have you planted your garden have you have you been taking care of it some of you can plant again here soon medical stuff beans and bullets you know wouldn't be a bad idea to start stocking up on stuff because um we could see some violence in the American streets. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's too many things going on that could, even though they may be separate, could definitely cause violence to start in the, the streets of America. It's, it's, it's quite possible. Uh, and I think it's, it's just, it's like a powder keg. It's just, it's just on the verge of popping off. And it, it will only take one spark to do that, I think. And so, um, be getting ready. Be paying attention to it. Because it, it, I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I say that all the time. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that nothing happens. And come November, December, January, I can sit back and say, folks, I'm, you know, I was wrong. I, I hope I didn't cause anyone too much inconvenience. I mean, maybe you just got yourselves a little bit more prepared, but apparently they just decided to do nothing. And and the election and everything just went off without a hitch. You know, no, no interference. Nothing. It's everything's all back to normal now. That could happen, and I wish I could say that, but I don't believe that's going to be the case. It's time to get your houses in order, folks. Wake up, realize, get up off the couch. You're never going to move mountains as long as you're sitting there. 
Start preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.